Ichibi Hayasubi, the big man himself, leader of the Soul Society's Royal Guard. Top dog. Exactly. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, well, you know who. Have to. You watch. The big bad. Yeah, you watch. The King of the Quincy, mm. leader of the Wandering Red. This is like the Clash of Titans, right? Yeah. We're talking about two of the most powerful beings in this universe. Absolutely. And what we have here in this fight isn't just a test of strength, but like a clash of ideologies. Yeah, good point. So much more than just a slugfest. It's about what these two represent, their and whole way of seeing the world and the stakes. Yeah. They couldn't be higher. And honestly, when you're talking about Ichibi Hayasubi, the dude who can manipulate names. Right. Like, that's his thing. So bizarre. That's his power, right? He can, like, alter your very existence just by changing your name. It's wild. Imagine, like, getting hit by an attack that steals, like, right. your very essence just yeah. because he knows what to call you. It's insane. And it's not like he's just throwing this power around willy-nilly. Oh, no. He's strategic. The man is a mastermind, like, ten steps ahead at all times. I mean, look at how he completely shuts down you watch, trying to steal his Bankai. Totally. Turns that whole situation around, uses it against him. This is what Ichiba does, and that's why he's such a formidable opponent, even for someone like you watch. It's not just brute force, it's strategy. Yeah, but then you have you watch with the Almighty. Uh, I mean, how do you even begin to counter something like that? It's almost unfathomable. We're not even talking about just seeing the future here. No. We're talking about rewriting it. On a whim. Huh. Total control. I mean, there's a moment, right, where Ichibe, he lands this incredible blow, like severs Yuwatch's connection to his power, should be it, right? Done. Finito. Yeah. Fatal. But Yuwatch, he uses the Almighty, rewrites the entire... It's like it never even happened. Just erases it from existence. Oh. That's terrifying. Chilling. It's like playing a game and your opponent can change the rules whenever they feel like it. Exactly. You know, you just, you can't win. And sadly, Tragically, even, despite Ichibei's incredible power and his strategic mind, mm -hmm. he loses. He does. You watch takes him down. Yeah, and it's a turning point, a dark one, you know, in the whole story. Because up until this moment, Ichibei, he was everyone's best hope. The Soul Society's best shot. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if someone like him, with his intellect and his power, can't defeat you watch, I mean, what hope is there, really? Right. It's a bleak outlook. So after a fight like this, after witnessing Ichibei's defeat, I mean, where does that leave us? What's next? Is there any hope left if even someone like Ichibe falls? Well, that's the million dollar question, right? Yeah. It really forces you to confront the sheer terror of you watch's abilities. It really does. But it also, it makes you think, you know, are there limits even to the almighty? Is there a way to combat something that seems to defy the very laws of reality as we understand them? Right, like is there anything, any chink in that armor? We don't know, not yet. I mean, you gotta believe there's something. You hope so. So if you're rooting for the Soul Society, and let's be real, who isn't at this point, it might be time to start brainstorming because they are fresh out of options. Yeah. And that's about all the time we have for today's deep dive, but trust me, you are gonna wanna sit with this one for a while. For sure. Until next time. Yeah.